My name is Harish Chandler. I'm from the Department of Health, Exercise Science and Recreation Management. I'm currently a doctoral candidate in biomechanics and neuromechanics. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My line of research completely focuses on analysis of human gait and balance, especially in an occupational and an ergonomic population. Uh, the problem statement that we have is there is about 200,000 cases of work-related falls that are actually reported in 2010, of which 646 was actually fatal. Um, workplace fatigue, which has been shown to have an influence on occupational falls, is very, very different from an exercise-induced fatigue. Uh, exercise-induced fatigue are high-intensity workout over a short duration of time. But whereas the work-induced or the workplace-induced fatigue is a low-intensity workout expended over a prolonged period of time. Footwear, as quite often considered as the interface between the human foot and the floor, is also have been shown as an influence in balance performance. So with the lack of literature in occupational footwear, what we did was pick three industry standard footwear, the low top shoe, the tactical boot, and the work boot, and assessed how good they are in balanced performance. We found healthy participants, uh, and we made them walk for four hours continuously without any break to mimic an occupational environment. The low top shoe and the tactical boot have a little bit of similarity in their design characteristics, meaning they had a similar mass. The tactical boot and the work boot had a similar design characteristic, meaning they had a high top elevated boot shaft. Um, we made the participants walk for four hours continuously without taking any breaks at all, with balance being measured every 30 minutes with the help of a Neurocom balance machine. So what we did next was exported the data out, did some fancy mathematical calculation, and we ended up with a dependent variable, something called as a postural sway. Postural sway has an inverse relationship with balance performance, meaning the greater the postural sway, the lower the balance performance is. So what we ended up finding was over the four hour period of testing, uh, starting from the pre-test to 240th minute, partial sway increased significantly. And especially significant differences in partial sway was actually seen during the third and the fourth hour of testing periods. This could very well be attributed to the increased amount of workload being placed on the human body. Uh, in relation to the footwear, the tactical boot and the work boot were significantly better and had decreased partial sway in comparison to the low top shoe. This was attributable to the elevated boot shaft that actually gave support around the ankle. Um, the findings from this particular research can be very well used to schedule work and rest intervals in an occupational environment and the findings for the footwear design characteristics helping them more useful way to design footwear characteristics so that to prevent fall and fall related injuries, especially in an occupational environment. Thank you.